Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Offlane, here on the Funny Fucker server. Hope y'all are doing well. I hope this, uh, what is it, Saturday? It's Saturday, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's Saturday. Hope this Saturday's treating y'all well. Um. Yeah, uh, not much has been going on on the server while I've been offline. Uh... For the most part, things have kind of been just chill. Um, and that's something I wanted to chat about a little bit. Um, now, whenever... I think if people dedicate themselves to making some kind of history on video game eras... Man, that's beautiful. Uh, if people dedicate themselves to making, if like, if there's like a historian that dedicates themselves to recording like eras of Minecraft, I think around this time, Minecraft is starting to dip back down in popularity. Like not many people are starting to get kind of sick of it. They don't really care that much, at least in terms of vanilla. Um, they're kind of just ready to put in the towel for the most part. Uh, and it's always an interesting thing to think of because whenever I started playing Minecraft again, I was like, it was like, right. I of course was kind of along the same lines as everyone else, uh, playing Minecraft for the first time again at like 2015, 2016, at least for me. Um, well, no, I would say that's, that was the point, 2015 and 2016 were years that I didn't play Minecraft, but, um, I would say around 2018 was when I came back to Minecraft, and that was when I kind of, you know, I started to learn a bit more. Uh, about the game, but also that was when the the passion for the game came back, and uh, I was there kind of playing Minecraft when uh, the current like quote unquote era of Minecraft started, which was specifically. The, um, uh, it was, it was specifically the era that had, um, SMP Live, uh, Dream SMP, like all of those kind of things. Now, if you know anything about Minecraft and... Uh, if you like to peek your nose into drama, like most people on the internet do, um, you would have known what happened to the Dream SMP, and you would have known what happened to uh, SMP Live. Both of those things uh, kind of went a little bit too long, and um, just to not be too specific, uh, didn't end too well. So... Or I guess some of the some of the people that were involved were not the best people, is what I'll say. So the concept of um the the concept of like current Minecraft eras, when you think about that kind of stuff, for the most part, when I think about it. I'm thinking about, um, I mean, I'm thinking about those, but I'm also thinking about just how, I don't know, kind of weird this era was. Because if you want to be specific about time frames, 
I would say, like, yeah, you have the classic era. So you have um, X's Adventures in Minecraft. You have Yogg's Cast. You have uh, all of the... Some of the current famous ones, like Captain Sparkles, Ant Venom. All those people that have been doing Minecraft for a long time. Those are kind of the, like the first era. But then you also have... Um, you also have... The second era now. Because this is kind of like... The end of the resurgence. People are starting to like not really care about Minecraft anymore again. Ow. Um... Which is not the end of the world. But you guys know what I mean. It's the end of that era. So people are playing the game less. People are thinking about the game less. People are streaming, watching videos, stuff like that less. Um, so it's the people that stick by in the after that second era. And possibly into a third era whenever that happens. That causes you to really, um, it kind of gets people nostalgic for the game in general. Um, I'm going to scream. I keep doing this wrong. This shift right click. Oh, it's going there. Is my flint and steel not- Where's my flint and steel? Oh, come on, man. Did I put my flint and steel away? At home? <sighs> I guess we're going back. But yeah. Um... When you were kind of able to tell when this second era of Minecraft YouTube kind of ended. Um, because that was when some of the like first really big controversy started. And you were like, okay, I guess a lot of people are going to back off from Minecraft because of this. I feel like a lot of it was from... Uh... I feel like a lot of it was specifically from uh, the Dream SMP. Because if you guys remember, um, if you remember your history, and uh, take notes because there's gonna be there's gonna be a test at the end. Um, if you guys remember the the history of. SMP Live, you unfortunately know a lot about what happened with the. Oh, that hurt. The creator of SMP Live and what happened with him. Obviously, nothing good. Like, where the fuck is my flint and steel? Who do they give it to? Do I have an extra one in here? I do. That'll work. Um, but yeah, that didn't happen until after SMP Live ended. So people didn't really assume that. I'm not changing that, by the way. Uh, it only happened once people that were making the, the Dream SMP ended up getting into controversy. Um... Which is interesting because I I think it's interesting personally because the way that you have things structured, frog, please, the way that, the way that like this will be structured is like S and P live happens and then a cult, like a year or so goes by. And then Dream SMP happens, and that's when the, like, 
real peak. I wouldn't call Dream SMP peak, but you know what I mean. The peak interest in the in the in the game happened. Um And uh I remember uh Schlatt talking about this sometimes and on a chuckle sandwich and shit like that, where you would have people uh be interested in it and, and talk about it and and uh have conversations about it and everything. And then after that uh after like the main interest in it kind of left for vanilla they would go to modded they would go to modded minecraft what's really funny is the fact that uh as a friend group um th th this server the funny fucker server is a friend group primarily server um and we actually did modded first and then did vanilla, which is kind of funny considering the fact that everyone else likes it the opposite way. Um, so you have people sitting through here, like, in, uh, playing Minecraft, playing vanilla, and then they're like, ah, I don't really care about vanilla anymore, let's go, let's go play modded. And our group here is like, oh man, I miss tech it. I miss, I miss tech it. And then we play tech it, and it's like, yeah, this kind of fucking sucks. Let's go back to, let's go back to vanilla. I think it's funny. Uh, cause we've been, obviously some people in the group have been playing other games since. So, we have our own kind of mini Minecraft eras. Um, but I feel like this server specifically is going to be one that sticks around for a long time. Because I don't, I'm always going to have an interest in Minecraft. I'm going to turn on my fucking, ooh, I don't have any. I'm gonna sit by a fire. Um. I don't. I don't feel like I have. I mean, I feel like I do, but the times in which I'm interested in Minecraft and which I'm not interested in Minecraft are very long periods of time. And. I feel like as long as I make these videos. And as long as I enjoy making these videos, uh, I'm going to keep playing. And whether that makes it easier for me or not, whether people are going, whether that like, I, I it's always a, it's always a comforting thing to think about. Cause then you're sitting there and you're like, you know what? Yeah. Go enjoy other games. I'll be here when you guys come back, you know? Like, you have that feeling where it's like, well, I'm not going to be done with Minecraft anytime soon. I have projects I want to do. You guys remember the Dynasty? That's going to take a couple more years. Who knows? Maybe by the time the next Minecraft era comes around is the time that I finish the Dynasty. You know what I mean? It, it's it's something that feels like it's worth putting time into. And usually, I guess the first era of Minecraft's a lot different because that was when the game first started. So you kind of have an idea of what it was like, or you didn't. Re nobody really knew what was going on, but. Having that kind of era structure
I feel like it adds a lot on top. And yeah, well, I'll say that this server isn't fully vanilla. There are built-in data packs. If by chance we ever put this world up for download. Um, it's going to have all the data packs in it. Even if it doesn't, all the chunks that are loaded will still be there. So. Who knows? All I know is that I'm going to be here for a while. I know that for certain. And whether that's to to my benefit or not, is for me to is for me to decide, not for anyone else. I feel like a lot of the way that I play Minecraft and I and I do things is very kind of passion oriented, instead of like content or. Profit oriented, you know? Um, and having it be profit oriented is not the worst thing, admittedly. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna villainize the other side for wanting to make a little bit of money in this fucking economy. Ah. But, in all honesty, you have, I feel like uh, wanting to do it because of passion makes for a much longer lasting era of playing Minecraft. Even then, I kind of, I kind of get it though. A lot of people are I feel I feel the the kind of burnout that a lot of people feel with this game though there was a period of time before I started making these videos where I was like I do not want to play Minecraft right now I would rather do anything else And that's okay. Because I feel like Minecraft is that game that'll still be here after all this time. You know? It feels like one of those very persistent games. And I feel like it was intentional to be built like that. I don't know if anyone if anyone watching agrees, but I feel like Minecraft, in a way, is made to be a game that you take a break from, come back to. Like, see you in a couple of years, don't worry about us. I feel like even if Minecraft was like, yeah, we're done, don't worry, game's finished. Because in some way or another, the game is finished. You know? It is. It's just done. Like, you... Minecraft, as an idea, has been completed already. You have a very optional storyline. And a very easy-to-follow sandbox. I think Very I did put it really well in the original Minecraft trailer. This is the most significant sandbox you'll ever set foot in. Man, as a kid, I always... In a completely other news. As a kid, I always wanted to be the person that narrated the Minecraft intro. Um, you know how fun that sounds? Minecraft feels so professional nowadays with the way that it uh, does things, but back in the day, 
back like fucking what 11 12 years ago it felt more organic admittedly um it really did it felt like the game was liked for a reason, you know? It didn't feel like one of those games that you kind of had to like. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird feeling. Um, I feel like Modern Minecraft does kind of have a little bit of an issue with that. Where it feels like you have... To, not that you have to like the game, but that it's difficult... To stay mad at it, you know? Which is great for its fucking PR team. Let me tell you what. Minecraft's PR, PR team probably hearing that news being, Fuck yeah, dude. It's exactly what we wanted. I feel like that's good for any game, but I don't think that there are many games that have achieved a, like, shore-like approach. Shore as in, like, some, it comes in, it comes out in terms of popularity. Um, like, it comes in waves. I don't think I've ever seen a game that has that kind of wave-like feeling to it, where sometimes people are really into it, sometimes people aren't. They go play other games, they go do other things. But then whenever they come back, Minecraft's pretty much still the same. You still have the same old game, you know? I think that's to its benefit, obviously. You got this... You got this sandbox. You can do whatever the fuck you want in it. You want to build a dick? By God, build the largest dick you've ever seen. You want to make a Minecraft server and... Spend time with friends and build a whole community together? God damn it, you got every right to. Nothing's really stopping you. It just depends on what you want to do. Where's my sand? And whomp. How did I have more teen? Whatever. But yeah, like you don't really... I feel like the popularity of Minecraft comes and goes, but there are people that will stay throughout the eras. Because they love the game. That's me, I'm talking about myself. But yeah. Um, that was something that I've been thinking about for a while. Minecraft eras and all that. Nothing too major of a topic for today. Just something that's been on my mind a little bit. Two. I don't think I can make a whole... I definitely can't make a whole stack of TNT with this stuff, so... I don't know. If, I guess I'll put it in here. This is my overflow chest. That's like the... I don't have enough space for this chest. Let's reorganize our inventory a little bit. We'll take the rocket launcher, put it there. Yeah, put it there. That goes there. But yeah. 
don't worry guys, eventually when uh when Minecraft is at the the low of its popularity, I'll I'll make my own a tribute to Minecraft. I promise. I'll make my own. That'll be the first uh, video essay I'll make. And it's gonna get one view and it's gonna be my friend. It's, it's gonna get like five views from all of my friends and that's it. The only time it'll get views. flowers all right well i think we're good then i think that is all the time we have for today so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed go check to see if you're subscribed down below uh, and if you really enjoyed the video hit that like button um but yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you guys again in the next video stay safe stay healthy and have a good one. Bye-bye.